what we're going to be going over here is direct materials variances here and we're going to be taking a closer look here at our direct materials variances when we look at our price and usage variances and also our quantity variances and what we're really doing here in our variance analysis this is where we're comparing our actual results for the period here versus what we've budgeted or our budgeted performance. So what we're going to be doing here for our direct materials variance is we're going to be uh, first looking at a static or our master budget that we have here or some standard amount that we plan at the beginning of the period here and then at the end of the period we have some actual results and then uh, taking the actual results at the end of the period we're going to compare it to some flexible budget that we have we'll be able to set that up okay so let's first start with our static or our master budget here or the standard amount that we allow and uh, we would do that here at the beginning of the period it's just taking some budgeted quantity times some budgeted price here and in this case we're looking at our direct materials so we would have established some static or some standard amount here at the beginning of the period and then at the end of the period this is where we're going to know our actual quantities and our actual prices here on our direct materials and that would be our actual results okay so now we know our actual results here at the end of the period we know our budgeted our static amount here at the beginning of the period now is where we set up our flexible budget and that's simply taking our actual quantities that we purchased here for the period times the uh, from our actual results here times the budgeted price that's coming off our static or our budgeted amount here so again flexible budget we're just taking our actual quantities times our budgeted price okay so looking at our variances here and, and then of course we're just going to be looking at our actual flexible and static uh, uh, amounts here so starting with our direct materials for our actual amount that would be the actual quantity we purchased times some actual price and then the flexible amount was going to be some actual quantity that we purchased times the budgeted price we're taking the budgeted price from our static amount here and the actual quantity purchased from our actual results for the period but that's for our price variance or price amount here and then we'd also have uh, based on usage here this is where you're going to take for your flexible budget you're going to take some actual quantity that you used here in production times the budgeted price and then for a static amount we're just taking the budgeted quantity allowed here there's some budgeted amount or standard amount that we allow here for the period times the budgeted price so looking at our price variance uh, all we're going to do is factor out looking at the difference between our actual and our flexible budget we're just going to factor out the common factor here the actual quantity purchased and then the difference or the variance would be between the actual price versus the budgeted price so actual price uh, uh, less our budgeted price or that difference times the actual quantity purchased is our price variance and then for our usage variance all we're doing here is we're just taking the or fact the common factor is going to be actual quantity used here so we're going to take our actual quantity used difference between the actual price here and our budgeted price times the actual quantity used okay so now let's go down here and let's look at our quantity variance and that's simply the difference between the flexible and our static or our standard amount or our master budget here for the period so this is just taking what is the common factor here well between our flexible and our static amount the common factor would be the budgeted price here so we're just simply taking a difference between the actual quantity used here and our budgeted quantity allowed here so this is where we're using the actual quantity used here okay so that difference here actual quantity used difference between actual quantity used and the budgeted quantity allowed that difference times the budgeted price is our quantity variance okay so we've determined our variances here and then the key here is I got AP is the actual price and shown in blue here dark blue and BP is in red for the budgeted price AQP is the actual quantity purchased AQU is actual quantity used and BQA here in blue is the budgeted quantity allowed okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to look at our flow here and what we're this is the key here when we're talking about these direct materials the price and usage variances so we're gonna when we purchase this material it's gonna go into some accounts payable here for the amount of material that we purchased here and then it's gonna flow into some materials purchased inventory control account here and then when we use that material it's going to flow into the work and process uh, control account here so 
Again, for our variances, we're gonna just have our actual cost is sitting in our accounts payable. And then we, our materials purchase is gonna go into some control account. And then our work and process is gonna go at some budgeted cost in here. So again, just that our looking at our equation or our what we had figured out here initially here, uh, for our accounts payable, it's just going to be an actual quantity purchase times an actual price, and then the materials it's going to go into the control account here, be inventoried as the actual quantity purchase times some budgeted price. So again, we just factor out the actual quantity purchase. So the price variance, as we calculated before, is just the difference between the actual price and our budgeted price times the actual quantity purchased here. So that's our quantity purchased. Based on our quantity purchased, we have the price variance. So this is based on the quantity purchased. Okay, so now we've got to figure out our quantity used variance here. And that's simply, you gotta reach over here and take, it's really the difference between the actual difference, the actual price that you paid on a per unit basis times the budgeted price. That difference times the actual quantity used here. So we gotta reach over here. And the key is here, this, quantity used here is coming between, it's it's sitting here in our materials purchased account here. We're, we're looking at this uh, quantity used or the usage variance after it's sitting in the inventory account here, between our inventory account and our work and process when we actually use it. So the difference is that is the key here, is that you're taking and you're determining the actual quantity that you used here. You only know that after you it flows into your work and process or you start using it but it sits in an inventory account up until that time and we're only taking it based on the actual quantity that we used now with the quantity that purchased we're looking at that variance right away here we're looking at the actual quantity that we purchased here again based on difference between our actual price and our budgeted price but we're doing it right away here and it's all based on the actual quantity that we purchased. So that's really the difference here when we're talking about the price variance based on our quantity purchase. That's done right away. As soon as we uh, uh, receive that material here, we determine that price variance and it's based on the total quantity that we purchased, the actual total quantity we purchased. Whereas our usage variance here, that's o that we only know after when we start using that material, it could be quite a time period. Uh, it'd be sitting in inventory here for, for some time. So it, there would be a lapse between when you actually receive it and when you actually use it. And again, when we're talking about the actual usage, that's only the amount that we used. We may have received a greater amount here. Obviously, we could have received a, a quite a bit larger amount here. We actually purchased it, at, but we actually, we would have used a much smaller amount. So that's our usage variance. Just to so understand, it's when we actually use it it's sitting in inventory for a while. Then when we use it, then we calculate our uh, usage variance here based on what we use. Whereas the price variance, that we do as soon as we get that material and we look at the total amount of material that we have for the period. Okay, and then the other thing, our quantity variance, that was just the difference between, that is uh, when it goes into, our, when it flows out of our inventory into our work and process, and that's just taking the common factor here was the budgeted price here, the budgeted price on that material. And the difference, our quantity was just the difference between the actual quantity used and the budgeted quantity allowed times the budgeted price. That's our quantity variance. And just to make a key here, a note here, when we go over this, this price variance based on a quantity purchased, the advantages would be based on the quantity purchased. When we talk, at, uh, talk about it up here, that was that advantages this when we have the quantity purchased up here, because we uh, note we take the total amount here as soon as we uh, receive that material. Whereas with the usage, we only take it when we use it, and it could be at a much later time here, and a different quantity, it would be a much less, we could use a whole lot less of it, actually ho use a whole lot less than what we purchased. So going back to our advantages here, for our price vantage, uh, variance based on our quantity purchased, you would have the entire price uh, variance calculated, not just when it's used, but when it's purchased. You will evaluate the prices when they're purchased in a timely manner, not when they're just used here. And then what you're doing, is you're comparing current period purchased versus budgeted amounts here. So when you're talking about the usage here, uh, you may, it, it, it would 
it'd be at a much different time here than when it's purchased. So these are really the key items that you'll be looking at. Okay, so, all right, we'll move on from here. 